See if it's Pakim. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome here on Tribune again, where we every Friday present to you the most amazing board game that exists today. Yeah, you heard right. It is a Tribune about the Battle of Cannae, Carthage against Rome, and two of the formidable, most formidable armies clash and everything can happen on this board. Um, well, yeah, the dude to the lower right is not muted. He can talk, but he refuses to. Yeah, yeah, great. Okay, very unsettling. Mm, yeah, as I told you, every Friday we are here for you with a new episode. Let's switch on the music. This is the sound of peace, the sound of truth. And then everything turns into battle mode. Yeah, come yeah, on. That's the part where I begin to talk. Hello. <laughs> so, really? I've got the horses in the back, as usual. And, and besides, uh, I have this helmet on the shelf. It's really looking nice, man. You can even wear this helmet, but it's very uncomfortable. <laughs> so, you know, <clears throat> horse in the back, you do something in the front. Fearsman. And you just try to be bothersome, so... This is a and by the way, game. yeah, the, the game of today, the name is Trip in a Jar. Uh... Why ever? I don't really remember why. And what you can see here is, the, yeah, we have a physical board, but this is the bits and bytes version on the tabletop simulator. Uh, you can play too. Go down to the description below, go to our website, fetch everything you need and go play Tribune for free if you like. Yeah. Uh, did I interrupt you or? Okay, then uh, let's proceed with the next moves. This is all set up. Uh, Max usually goes for this very belligerent approach of having a lot of equities. Why? Uh, let me just uh, go to God mode and if I pull this up you see the rings, uh, the, the green circles indicate the movement and this way it is blocked still but if this dude moves or combines out of the way uh, yeah this wrath is unleashed and he can take he can do whatever he wants so that's what he usually does in in the setup phase of the game i don't like this dark hexagon equus here so i'm directly asking him if he likes a confrontation or not and he just dislikes <laughs> yeah so i personally like to keep those on the board you then try to attack me like this but i've already prepared for something along the lines of that so mm. i would just brief uh well you know yeah uh, support him in the... mm -hmm. and uh yeah so you essentially close the middle so we have like a little bit i think this is like sort of the end of the uh, setup phase and this yeah. is where it became more confrontational you know or and maybe it's just, just one move and he opens up two diagonals for those two equities uh, equities uh, this is an unusual word but, but latin equus is a singular word plural form is equities uh, yeah we're not on a trading platform well not equities equity equity sorry yes. <laughs> anyhow Thank um very much the uh, ballista is now essentially using this opening of the file and i just uh this is basically ignorable as you can, uh, as it's sufficiently protected, but it's still a threat. So 
if you have this, yeah, and this can on it, five. bad move, as you lose one piece. But, but now... the follow-up is very much devastating, as you can take here. The defender is now gone, and well, in in this position, you know, you better run away like this, uh, as you are probably gonna get smushed. So, um, yeah, that's not great. Uh, it depends. And, and, yeah, you know, yeah. I like winning the game, so <clears throat> I wouldn't do this. Uh, and so I just prevented the follow-up, mm. and I kind of, um, you know, threatened a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit myself. Yeah, because now you have a very small attacker, but he's well supported, so. This tiny dude would be able to erase a unit of five. Uh, literally, it's it's not existing, but uh, four additional points, so you can at least kill everything on this board. Almost. Uh, so I stepped out of the way, and instantly this diagonal becomes juicy. Well, I looked more onto the Grey Hexagons, as y your defense, uh, uh, well, your offense really is based on the uh, Grey Hexagons. And so if you essentially uh, prevent the off uh, attack to happen, then you're going to be stuck on the Grey Hexagons. And so that's what you see here. Those are stuck, and then I can kind of get them out of the way and threaten them. But I'm not really fighting for the Grey Hexagons. See, the Ballista is just like, it's like a railway. I am bound to this and I can move along these trails, but I cannot really attack, so... Yeah, but it's, it's true. And now I'm going for it, opening this up erasing the defender here, posing some threats, especially here on this dude. And you really went for this approach. You did not take four pieces here. Why not? Well, uh, the reasoning behind this, I, I, I don't quite know it. Yeah, it's a long time ago. It's a long time ago, but... Uh, I probably did not like the prospect of, um, you know, uh, something along the lines of perhaps takes here. Well, I would nah, I'm not really. More. Yeah, now you would take this entirely, or take it impero, even worse. I mean this. This or with this Aquas? I mean, an Aquas riding on a Ballista is, is very hostile. Because yeah. now he can <laughs> fight on these hexagons. This is just. I don't know. A little it feels unpleasant. kind of stupid yeah. to do this. Yeah, okay, okay, Mark. okay. So it would be better to. Yeah. So I, I just. Did not like any of the ideas you might have. Maybe you want to take there or something. I don't know. I just really did not like you, uh, your mobility and stuff. And so I just shut that down very simply. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can't move that anymore. So. Huh. And now I'm going to work. Ah, defended. When you attack me here, yeah, it's, a, yeah it's a very important Zwischen Zug. Because uh, this dude, well, is defended, yeah, but this is better. This way, I turn this very yeah, casual guy into an offense one. It's better to put some pressure on your Tribune. And I essentially uh, blocked this uh, threat. I also attacked here. I defended. 
but I also I also just uh, interposed my own attack, so that was a little bit annoying for me. But I thought this would be a better way to continue. And right. really, this dude is not defended. It seems like it is very solid at this position, but I would say it is not. Yeah, it's quite a terrible move. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, it's kind of interesting that I didn't see that. Uh, uh, again, by the way, I completely blanked on that. Yeah. Um, I don't know what it is about this one that I keep overlooking that he is not defended. Yeah. Anyhow, you took it. Uh, I remember. Uh, by the way, if, if you out there um, are a little disturbed by why sometimes the pieces are jumping around uh, in, in a freaky way, it's just the system repairing the board, putting everything on the right position so that we can proceed automatically with a real game. Every time we touch in God mode something and move it, uh, we say repair and everything is jumping back. That's just that. So yeah, I just thought, well, now is as good as a moment for counterattacking than any other moment. I, I, in hindsight, should probably have spent more time defending, but you know that's not fun. So essentially, I was kind of like, yeah. It defense is not what you like. I'm gonna defend a little bit, but uh, essentially I'm just gonna attack you. Like again, I'm just attacking. You have to move now, and it's kind of interesting. Yeah, but in retrospect, this was not a very accurate move. Because by moving to a dark hexagon, my next move will target a light or a gray hexagon. And see, you have two equity on these fields, cutting away everything. And when you move, you can threaten me. So going on a dark hexagon is not such a good idea because uh, honestly, I was, I like this. Uh, your only option, if you don't want to step on a dark hexagon, is a uh, is a white hexagon, as you come from a gray hexagon. And yeah, but thing, I, I've, I've got this, for example, this is the only other uh, option you have. No. I could have gone here. This looks yeah, maybe stupid at the first, hexagon. but at second glance, I'm quite well protected among my men. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, but that's a dark hexagon. Yeah. That's the thing true. about the white hexagon, this is the only white hexagon, and uh, Maybe. congratulations. Yeah, you are I got another attacker just uh, rolled in. So. You know, I think this was fine. And, uh, well, I couldn't do anything anymore, so I had to, you know, anticipate your attack. So I did that. I combined. You threatened me. Okay. It's not yeah, that maybe, big. Yeah. Maybe not so fast. It's very complicated, I guess, especially for newcomers. Can we take one step back? So you have a Sagittarius. You see the uh, rings indicate where you can go or where you could possibly attack. But uh, you cannot attack this unit because it's well supported by this guy in the background. Uh, you would need another attacker to get rid of him, so you have to run. If you go here, uh, congrats, you're dead. If you go here, then, well, you're dead. And so the only option for moving would be here. And that's what you did. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this is why the bad position to be in. Okay, repair and... <laughs> and repair. <laughs> Move your uh, ass, man! This... Um, honestly, I, I just looked at it and I think this would have been even more accurate. Uh, uh, as I'm 
Yeah, I, I go back or I go to, uh, well, I have to go back now. I have now. to go, yeah. And I, I, I don't know. I like this uh, from like your point of view. I mean, you can even do something like this. And so. But, nah, yeah, now you could go here. I must go there, you know. I know, yeah. I like quite uh, quite a lot, so mm. you know, mm. maybe that would have been a nice uh, way to approach the situation. Um, you, yeah, but forced... that's Tribune. There's so many options on the board. You are the leader of the army, and you have to bring down the opponent. And if you fail, well, welcome to Elysium. And so uh, you did this kind uh, uh, kind of approach. And I combined to a Centuria. Now I'm twerking a little bit. <coughs> um, I and we're equal in terms of material. Still, but seven of your pieces are now bound beneath your Tribune. And I try to shove you around. Directly sacrificing this dude, but going here. So it's not really a sacrifice and now you could have opted for going here maybe and i probably should have well I probably should have um but i didn't ah this so. is this is nice this tiny little dude he's defending the sagittarius the sagittarius is defending this one and this one is defending this one so this little trio is very interlocked. Now I was forced to go there. What happened here? It's not really, really yeah. important, but... Uh, what so I, I was kind of forced to go there. Uh, not very pleasant, but uh, oh well. I couldn't really choose. Uh, maybe you uh, wonder why I did not go there. This is also protected, so I can't really do that. And uh, you attacked me. I jumped there. And you went like this. Yeah. And now, what to do? What's the best way to escape this situation? Well, we, in hindsight, again, think this would have been the move. Very easy. You just walk forward and you just put everything under pressure. Yeah. And you keep your op uh, your options open. So maybe this would have been better. We could, uh, we, we reviewed the thing in, uh, uh, before, you, you know, shooting the video and uh, we couldn't really find a good way to counter this. Uh, the way I played it in the game is I took there. I guess you succumbed to the pressure and thought, well, it's it's all over. Yeah. And then this is the final nail to the coffin, man. Because, uh, well, he's supported by this guy. He is attacking and he is well supported by both of these and the Sagittarius from behind. And you cannot even run here because these two will bring you down no matter what. So you are nailed to the position where you initially started on. This would have been the same thing, by the way. It's kind of funny. You just try to get rid of everything else. You, know, you just want this one, and everything else is, uh, you know, not mm -hmm. very important. It would be a different story though if this one, uh, one would be attacked. Well, I don't know. Let's that because you could have taken and, and this yeah. position, then that would have been a different story, or even something like this. Uh, as now this one could have taken. And then you would have retaken. And then he would have had to take. And then he would have been retaken. And then these two would have uh, had some purpose. But 
Well, in this case, they were irrelevant. <sighs> Here we yeah. Go. Yeah. As far as you ask, ask me, uh, it was a nice game. I was a little under pressure. Sometimes these lightning attacks coming down the whole board with with two of those riders is really, really menacing. I'm often I find myself in a situation where I turn from from the hunter into the prey. Uh, fortunately, not this time. Well, I would say let's switch to the goodbye screen. Yeah, so I hope, or that is we hope, that you enjoyed this video uh, and the game. And uh, both in the sense of the game Tribune, as also in the sense of the game of today, Trapped in a Jar. Uh, if you did, uh, make sure to like, subscribe, share the video and so on so and so forth. Uh, and, you know, we've gotten quite far ahead in, you know, developing the uh, programming thing. Uh, well, the... The, the power... online version without the tabletop simulator. Yes. Stand alone. Exactly. Uh, so that you could play this on your PC everywhere in the world. Uh, it has a few bugs still, but uh, essentially you already have multiplayer. I just need to put in some in, uh, interface, you know, but uh, that might take a while. I have a lot of projects right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, by the time you're watching this, uh, or by the time this video comes out, <laughs> I'm probably on a, a in some sort of prom. I don't know. It's like a German uh, festival for, uh, you know, ce celebrating that you are through school. Well, yeah, that, yeah. that's cool, you know. I'm, yeah, you finished your grade. Yeah, and so uh, I'm going to go to university. Well, I probably already have, uh, you know, uh, signed in to university and uh, hope I get uh, actually accepted and, you know, We'll see where I will go from then. So, best yeah. wishes out for you, my friend. Thanks. And uh, so, we hope you have a wonderful time and a great day from now on. And, uh, you know, we will say see you soon. On Tribune.